A woman was beaten to death by her husband and thrown into the river. After her death, she turned into a goldfish. Unexpectedly, she was caught by her husband's current wife and made into spicy grilled fish to be eaten by the whole family. Just when Xiao Hua saw her goldfish mother being eaten by the stepmother and others, not knowing what to do. Fortunately, at this time, a duck brought her the leftover fish bones. Xiao Hua sadly buried the fish bones in the ground. Unexpectedly, the next day, the fish bones in the soil began to sprout roots and suddenly grew into a chili tree. Xiao Hua thought her mother would continue to accompany her in this way, but she didn't expect this good fortune to be short-lived. One day, Xiao Hua came to feed her mother. Coincidentally, her half-sister from the same father but different mother saw her, and hurriedly ran back. To be continued, she told her stepmother about it. Her stepmother thought, this must be the transformation of Xiao Hua's deceased mother. So when Xiao Hua wasn't by the chili tree, she took her own daughter, and viciously dug up the chili tree. Angry, she chopped the chili tree into pieces. Little did they know at that moment. Xiao Hua's mother turned out to be a golden fish fairy from the sky. She would bring blessings to the local people and bring good luck to those who watched the video and liked it. Her stepmother and stepsisters will soon face consequences. Xiao Hua saw the chili tree that her mother turned into, being uprooted by someone. She burst into tears, devastated. Just when Xiao Hua was extremely sad and hopeless, suddenly, a wild cat brought her a root of the chili tree. She quickly picked up the chili root from the ground and cried in sadness, expressing her longing for her mother. Xiao Hua returned home. Looking at the smug expressions of her stepmother and stepsisters, she could only stand aside, silently shedding tears. She hated herself for not having the ability to protect her own mother. So at night, when no one was around, she cried and took the chili root to a distant deep forest, perhaps due to excessive sadness. Soon, Xiao Hua fell asleep beside the buried chili root. Unexpectedly, a miracle happened in the next moment. The buried chili root started to sprout roots and shoots and grew into a golden Bodhi tree. Soon, the Bodhi tree revealed its true form in front of Xiao Hua. At a glance, Xiao Hua recognized it. This was her long-deceased mother. She hurriedly ran up and threw herself into her mother's arms. Xiao Hua grew up under the company of her Bodhi mother, and became a young woman. She still comes quietly every day, to the Bodhi tree, to talk to her mother. But Little Flower's unfortunate fate remains unchanged. Sometimes, she is inexplicably beaten by her stepmother and stepsisters. If her stepmother feels unsatisfied with beating her, she will incite her father to beat her. Her two half-sisters on the side only add fuel to the fire. They willingly hand their father a wooden stick for him to beat Little Flower. Little Flower can only kneel on the ground with hands clasped together, continuously begging her father and stepmother for mercy. But her stepmother and stepsisters have no intention of letting her go easily. It's not until Little Flower is knocked unconscious that her stepmother and stepsisters finally release her. Little do they know how noble Little Flower's future identity will be. Even so, Little Flower still went to the market the next day to buy groceries and cook for the whole family. Unexpectedly, on her way to the market, she bumped into Da Zhuan who was strolling around. Da Zhuan was instantly attracted by Little Flower's beauty. He instantly came up with names for their future children. Seeing this, Little Flower shyly ran away. Little did she know that Da Zhuan was actually the revered king of their town. Ever since that day, the king couldn't stop thinking about Little Flower, so he sent his guards to gather information about her. Finally, one day, he found Little Flower's home through his guards, but to his surprise, Little Flower was being abused by her stepmother and stepsisters, forcing her to wash the family's clothes by the river. Dashuan felt heartbroken seeing this. He wanted to comfort Little Flower, but she mistook him for a hooligan and threatened to call the police to drive him away. From then on, Xiao Hua seemed to disappear. Dashuan couldn't find her anywhere. So one day, Dashuan disguised himself as a beggar and went to Xiao Hua's home to inquire about her whereabouts. But unexpectedly, he was scolded by Xiao Chiao, Xiao Chiao, Xiao Hua's half-sister. She scolded him harshly. Xiao Chiao looked down on him, this dirty beggar. The stepmother asked her daughter to drive Dijuang away with a broom. But little did they know. The beggar in their eyes is the current king. They will soon regret it. After the king left, he felt like he had just seen the girl, although she looks exactly the same as Xiao Hua he met on the street a few days ago, but he always feels that she is not the Xiao Hua he has been searching for. Meanwhile, Xiao Hua is standing in front of the Bodhi tree, talking to her mother, but little did they know. Their mother-daughter embrace was witnessed by Xia Chiao, their half-sister. 